What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on something different. It's my daily driver, 2006 Volkswagen Polo diesel. So the air conditioner has been blowing hot air for a couple of years now and I finally pulled the trigger and went to you pull it. Got myself a compressor uh, because I've had a mobile guy come out and he said to me that the compressor is kaput and it needs to be replaced. Then he'll come back and re-guess it for me and I should have some cold air coming out of the vents. So we're here today to install that. Let's get to it and see how we go. So here's the compressor here. So it came from a 9N Polo. It was actually a 1.4, I believe, but the part numbers do match up. So it's a 6Q082083P. So that was exactly the same with what's in the car right now. Right in there in the Never region, I did look online and it did say that the 1.6 1Js is the Mark IV fitted as well with a Bora, Golf, and Variant. Uh, there was no 1.6s there, so luckily there was a 9N Polo at Upullet, my second home, when I say. So 56 bucks for a second-hand compressor with 30 days warranty. It's not bad at all. Um, so I'll get this slapped in as quick as I can, and then I get the guy out to regas it. Hopefully it's all sweet. Uh, if it's not, then I can pull it out, go back, and swap it over for another one, which we can try again and see. But hopefully, first I'm lucky, uh, I don't want to be going back there and pulling out another one and re-pulling this one out and all whatnot. So the guards already taken the gas out for me, so I don't need to bleed the lines. I just have to undo it and take the compressor out, smash in the new one, and hopefully it works. Uh, so because it's so tight in there to actually get to anything, um, yeah, we're going to go from underneath. So jack the car up on the jack stand, and we're going to take off the uh, under tray, the splash tray, with 25 mil Torx, and then we're going to get access to the bottom of the car and get the air compressor out. So I had to move the inter intercooler piping to get access to the tensioner and it's a 16mm spanner required on the tensioner and then I've got to lock it in with a pin of some sort. Well there's literally no room in there to put the pin in because the belt was going on the alternator. So all I've done was just undone the belt and just remove the belt for now. So now it's time to crack on and remove the compressor which is all the way down there. Now it has thir three 13mm bolts holding it to the bracket. It has one Allen key bolt there that's holding up the hard line in place in the bracket. And the lines themselves have fittings, which I will figure out in a sec what size they are. And you got one there, and you got two down there as well. The hard lines themselves, they're a T45. So I want to crack on with doing undo them first. And then I'll do the bracket with the Allen key, and then I'll do the, the mounting bolts as well after that. So there's the two T45s removed. So in actual fact, I'm not going to remove the bracket with the Allen key because the bracket attaches to the 13mm uh, mounting bolt for the bracket. So I'll just undo the three 13mm. So there's one. The other bolts are here. And there's one there as well. So there's the three. The literal connector's already been disconnected. So I don't need to worry about that. But yeah, this is the three 13mm next, and then we can remove the. 
suppressor. So the angle is a bit of a pain in the ass um, with the ratchet, right? So I used the spanner to undo them. I think it's just easier for me to use the electric wrench. This thing is a lifesaver. I don't know why I never had one before, but ever since I got one, just can't stop using it. They are the best. Stop using your hands and fiddling your fingers just straight into there with the electric wrench. Away you go. And just like that, with the three bolts undone and the two fittings undone, it just pops right off. So as you can see. Part numbers are the same. The only difference being this one says 01S, this one says 02S. Not entirely sure what that means, but um, look, part number's the same. So I was going to whack in the new one, which is oh, the dirtier one, unfortunately. Hopefully, that means it still works, who knows? But um, yeah, let's get it in there, um, which is obviously the reverse order of taking it off. So mount it up, three bolts. Obviously this one at the top here will have the bracket. And then I'll do the two fittings either side and then the electrical connector will be last. So it's all plugged in, electrical connector, the two gas lines are connected in, and the three bolts all tightened up as well, nice and tight. Next is to get this belt on and the intercooler hose. So I probably might even put the pin in for the tensioner, put the belt on, and then release it. We'll see how we go. Obviously, the hose is a quick and easy fix. And once that's done, the job is done. Well, we got it in the end. That belt rests with me, but I finally got it in there. What a pain in the ass that was. I didn't even put the pin back in. I just had to hold it with the spanner and quickly put the belt over the tensioner and the alternator. That was the hardest part. But now that's all done and plumbed in with the intercooler piping is in there as well. As you can see, it's in there. Next step is I'm just going to keep driving it because it's my daily. I'm going to book in with the aircon guy, get him out, and let's see whether it's fixed the problem or not. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of days since the install, and I've had Michael from Air Freeze Automotive. He's actually come out. He's a mobile uh, aircon technician. So he's come out to my workplace, and he's regassed the car for me. He's also changed the valves and put a dive through it and offered me a one-year warranty. And happy to report that the aircon uh, is actually working again. So the compressor I grabbed from you, Pullet, was, uh, was A-OK, -okay and it was uh, performing beautifully. So now I can drive this car in the comfort of air conditioning through this Australian summer's heat. So uh, yeah, happy days with that. Uh, thanks again for watching guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. So thanks again for watching. See you later.